How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Sorry, I just wanted to stop this video quickly and just say I'm posting a video tomorrow on Valentine's Day. If you have no date, like me, put the video on, make dinner, sit down in front of it, and let's have dinner together. Okay, back to the video. Here's another trail walk midweek video for you guys to watch where we just talk about something. If you're new here, think about subscribing. In the middle of the week, I usually post videos about like topics that I really wanna have a conversation with you guys, with you specifically, and let me know in the comments below what you think. Today we're talking about how long do does a vlog and a video that you post on YouTube, how long should they be? So the first question is, I was thinking like, well, how what's a long video? A long video is like 20 minutes. Minutes. That's long for me. What's short? A short video I think is like, I don't know, like three minutes, I think. So what's the best number? Like I realize it's it's all about the topic. So a good example would be like Mr. Beast. Like he's on YouTube. If you watch his videos, he does a lot of like competitions and stuff like that. So like you have to stick around to the end of the video to see what is going on. You, you, it, it propels you to keep watching right till the end because you want to know who what's the answer, right? But if we're talking about vlogs, I think I need to start putting my vlogs shorter. I need. I think they need to be punchier. <laughs> punchier. I think they need to be like four minutes max. I noticed the like the really big videos, like the the very big YouTubers, their videos are about 10 minutes. But that's like with a following, right? Like they have people that tune in, like they literally could put a camera on in the middle of the living room and people will probably watch it because it's them. I think that's the secret. Self-evaluate your videos every time you post, see if there's another, something you can learn and make it better. For me, it's, it's the quickness that I like. The most common time for a vlog right now is about four minutes. My retention right now, according to my YouTube stats, is at three minutes and 28 seconds. So that means the average person is watching my video about three minutes and a, and a half. Which means if my videos are five minutes long, six minutes long, I'm losing a big chunk of the audience at the end, like right now. But like eight minutes, really? Eight? And then there's some people that do 20 minutes? Oh my God, this is not an indie film. A video that takes place in, over a span of days. I think it's just better to like, just make shorter vlogs and just post them. So that way you're posting more often. But there's a lot of people that don't do this. Apparently, if you make a video that's one to two minutes long, you are retaining 75% of your audience and more. Once you get, once you get to that four to five minute mark and more, it goes, it drops to 60 and even more. So it's something to think about. Like when you're making the videos, maybe not something you want to focus on. It's kind of nice. This show is kind of nice. You guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys. Nah. We're going to see you on Valentine's Day. Don't forget, I got a video coming out on Valentine's Day. Have dinner with me one-on-one. -on -one. It's a 30 minute video. I had a great time shooting it and you just pop it on your TV, start your dinner and let's have dinner together. So I'll see you guys on Valentine's Day.